Dominique Nikki King turned her Camry onto the familiar road leading to the house that had been her refuge for as long as she could remember. The limbs of the decades-old trees lining either side of the street swayed gently, as if waving hello to an old friend. She made a right turn into the horseshoe driveway and got her first look at the modest farmhouse she hadn't seen in years. Lakewood House. The house had been christened at some point years before her grandfather bought it. The name had stuck. Her chest tightened. She pulled to a stop and let the car idle. It was the first time she'd been back to her grandfather's house since he'd passed away a year earlier. It was her house now. Her grandfather had employed the services of a local handyman as a caretaker, and she had kept the man on retainer after she'd inherited the home. But it looked as if the monthly stipend had only extended to the basics. There'd never been much of a lawn. There was too much tree cover for any kind of grass to flourish. And since the house sat on nine acres of land, there weren't any neighbors within sight to complain about the curb appeal. The once bright white wooden siding was dirty, dingy, and several shingles were missing. The black shutters were faded and chipped. The windows themselves desperately needed a good scrubbing, and the pronounced dip in the two stairs leading up to the wraparound porch served as a warning to take care to anyone approaching the front door. Tread carefully. A warning she should have heeded more generally in life. Then she might not have found herself back in Carling Lake, New York, unemployed and a pariah among the political world she'd worked so hard to enter. Just a temporary blip, she told herself for the thousandth time. It had almost become a mantra. She'd been putting off coming back to the house for too long anyway. There were decisions that needed to be made. Whether to sell the house or keep it and rent it out. Carling Lake was a tourist town, so it wouldn't be too difficult to find renters on a regular basis. But the idea of strangers tromping through the house didn't sit well. Sleeping in her old bedroom, making a mess of her grandfather's spotless kitchen. She wasn't sure she could stand it. Well, there was plenty of time to figure all that out. Right now, she just wanted to get unpacked and settled in.